Hello, you've joined us Orange County National here in Orlando and you're watching me and my golf TV and it's the Impact Show. Pierce, what do we have today? Today we are talking about the unmentionable, the shank, the most destructive shot in golf. We've got to get rid of it. Let's take charge of your game. All right, then it's time for the Impact Show. This is where we answer your questions on your golf swing to help create more impact in your game. Yeah, so make sure you get involved. Go to the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram today and post your questions on today's topic. We'd love to hear what you've got to say. And make sure you go to meandmygolf.com for lots more great videos also. All right, superb. So today we've got a Facebook question from Jordan Cox. Now, Jordan um, has been interacting with us for a few years now through Facebook and YouTube and what have you. Really good. Thank you for that. Also, he's a member of the website, holding one member. Um, of meandmygolf.com. So, so this upset us a little bit, didn't we, when we heard these questions? Because at the moment, unfortunately, Jordan is suffering with the unmentionable, the shank. So that's when the golf ball hits the heel of the golf club and it can shoot off in all kinds of directions. It's a little bit soul destroying. Um, we've actually seen your golf swing before, Jordan, and you know what? We really like the golf swing, and you know, so we don't think you're too far away from playing some good golf. So, but we've got to get rid of that shank. Um, also in your question you actually, and this is maybe one of the reasons for this, the, the, the shank, is that you mentioned you weren't sure what you should be doing with your hips in the golf swing, you weren't sure what you were meant to be doing with your hands and your arms, you know, are, are you creating enough lag? So there are a lot of questions, Andy, about technique, as much as obviously it's good to work at technique, but maybe too many questions. Yeah, when the, when the, especially when you're hitting it so bad in terms of contact, uh, if you've got th that many thoughts in the golf swing, it's it's really hard to actually make a solid strike on the golf ball. Can get confusing then. So with your golf swing, Jordan, we know it's pretty good. You actually won the my swing analysis, which is good. But today we're going to take it back to something really simple, which is actually focusing on where you're hitting it rather than how you're hitting it. So we're going to take all those thoughts away and just focus on some feedback drills. Yeah. And hopefully it's going to really change your ball striking very quickly, give you some awareness of what's happening on the face. As you said, there we're going to give you a couple of drills. We've got to get you hitting the ball an inch more to the right. That's all we've got to do. We've got to get you hitting the ball out of the middle of the club. Just move the, the strike point an inch towards the centre and you'll be Easy. Very, very Sounds happy. easy, doesn't it? Okay, so actually, you know, we said we weren't going to talk about technique, but we'd better to, to show all the other viewers two of the main reasons why the shank happens. So Andy, if you can just go through those. Yeah, so the, the most common reasons we see, first of all, we know this move a lot, which is the over the top. We see the over the top move coming over. Then the heel is presented to the golf ball. That causes the shank so often. We also see the other reason really linked to another couple of swing faults, really the early extension where we move towards the golf ball. But this sort of generally, the pushing away of the golf club, the heel moving this way with the early extension often causes that heel strike. So basically we need to stop your club moving that way. Absolutely. Okay, very simple, we need to stop it moving that way and the feedback drills are hopefully going to help you do that without thinking about what the hips, the lag, the arms, all those things are really confusing. Let's get in the ball out of the centre, then you can start thinking about that again. Okay, so let's go through the first drill then, Andy. So talk us through that, please. Okay, what we've got here, we've got a ball on the ground, obviously. I've got another ball, sorry, I've got a tee. What I've done there is I've just lined it up level with the hosel. Okay, so it's literally the same angle as the shaft, level with the hosel. Now, my job here is to make sure I'm going to really focus here on hitting the ball, but I'm really going to focus hard on hitting the tee as well. Yeah. Now, like I said there, to do that, I'm going to have to really make sure the club, if anything, is going to move closer to me yeah. as opposed to moving away. If I miss the tee on this shot, then I haven't done it right. Yeah. But the good thing is about this is I can only now hit the, t hit the ball at the middle, okay, or the toe, and take the tee away. And, and what we're actually trying to do with this is actually say, well, as opposed to saying, you know, you must just only hit out the middle doing this drill, but hitting out the toe is fine. I'm sure if you... Jordan were to hit a couple of shots out of the toe, you'd be like, oh wow, this feels really nice, because at least the yeah. ball goes forward. The contact wouldn't feel perfectly sweet, but the ball will go forward. We know when you get that heel, it's going sideways. The great thing about hitting it on the toe as well, it's going to give you the awareness, it's going to give you some feedback. Okay, all oh, right, that's what I felt then in order to do that. And when you find the toe, the middle and the heel, you're going to have some awareness of where they all are, and that's going to really help you. Okay, let's have a go hitting that ball. Okay, so all I'm going to focus on here, I'm going to focus on hitting the golf ball, but I'm going to make sure I rip that tee out of the ground. Okay. Okay. So not actually, if, this won't be the best of shots because we want him to hit the ball out of the toe. Okay, right. That tee's coming out of the ground. Very good. It actually was a pretty good shot. So. But that was at the toe. I mean, even, even though it was a good shot, it hasn't gone the distance because of the toe strike. But as you can see there, I took the tee out. Okay. All right. So that's drill one. That's a really good one. And actually, when you're doing that as well, 
looking at the tee is actually a good thing to do. Maybe not even looking at the ball. So you're looking, maybe you're looking at the ball on the on the, the, the half which is nearest to you, but definitely looking at the tee as well. It's all going to focus you in more. So another one, we've just got ball on the ground this time. I think we may have given this one Jordan before possibly, okay. but still a good one to use. Head cover, obviously something nice and soft. So aero burner, head cover, place it on the ground like so. Now, I've got it on the ground here. So Andy, if he does hit the ball out of the heel, he's going to hit the head cover. So as long as Andy hits the ball out of the middle or the toe, he is going to miss his head cover. And we want that pretty much aligned with your target. Is that okay there, Andy? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, so if you see that obviously moves out towards the heel now, if you actually present the heel to the ball, you'll actually hit the head cover. Yep. All right then, so your job then, hit the ball, miss the head cover. Okay, so all my focus is on it. You actually contact here. That's the only thing I'm working on. Okay. Not bad. Actually did nick that a little bit, but it was more due to the fact that the path was in to out, so that was slightly, it was good. But again, we'll see from the actual uh, the golf club there. The ball came right out. Contact, of the yeah, of the that was a good one. And and you know you can get as you can get as aggressive with that head cover as you want. You can move it in really close so that you can only accept a toe strike. Yeah, exactly. If, we, if we've got somebody who's really struggling with a shank and we use that drill, we actually say, well, that's actually get the ball in, so you can only the head cover in, sorry, so you can only hit the ball out of the toe. Yeah, and I think the. The great thing about these, Jordan, it's going to really focus your mind on the the face, yeah. okay, and the ball, as opposed to, okay, right, do I need to feel the lag, my legs, and this, you know, yes, that these are important, but I think for yourself, we've seen your golf swing, it's a great golf swing, get back to basics and find the middle. Don't forget, you can still hit good shots coming over the top, you know, with swing falls, you can still hit good shots. Still strike it, yeah. As, it's all about striking it. If you, you've got to get you hitting the ball out the middle of the club, get you comfortable with that, get rid of the demons in your head maybe, and then from there you can then move on and have a look at those swing falls. All right, guys, look, hope you enjoyed that. Post your comments down below. Is there a particularly bad strike that you suffer with? We know maybe we can help you out on that. Don't forget to actually go to the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, hashtag Impact Show with your questions. Also, meandmygolf.com. We have a load of other shank fixes on there. That's just a couple. We've got, you know, we could have done this video with, with 10, 20 uh, anti-shank drills. So, hope you enjoy the video. Cheers, Thanks guys. For watching. See you soon.